Peace be with you everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevor, very grateful to have you here. In today's video I've got a compilation of 10 fragrances with a few honorable mentions focusing on the note of mint. So mint, very refreshing, cooling, fragrance note for the summertime. It's great in the spring as well. There's some nice herbaceous facets to it that are green. Play very well in the month of March for me, but also June and July are some times where I really like to reach for fragrances exhibiting this note because of their cooling effect in the high heat, humidity, and conditions that I've been experiencing, at least where I'm at right now. So starting off with this list, I do have the first honorable mention, only an honorable mention because it's discontinued, otherwise it would be one of the more premier fragrances exhibited here. This is going to be YSLY's Y O Fresh. This is still available on Fragrance Net right now. There's a few sellers on eBay as well where you can pick this up for right around the $100 mark. I think Fragrance Net is about $120. Still around full retail, maybe decide if you want to be paying that much for this. I, I would say if you can get it for right around 100 even or anything less, it's a good pickup. They did have it on Joma Shop recently this summer for I think $79 or $80, so definitely keep your eye out. Really great um, summertime freshy. definitely the only why that I really gravitate towards. The rest of them I think are great smelling, mass appealing, they do pull in compliments, but this is... Uh, lacking in a little bit of the overly synthetic sort of aroma chemical qualities of the amber woods and things down in the bottom. This one's a little bit lighter. It's got a very nice juniper berry, mint, and geranium combo that makes it incredibly icy just like this bottle. Really worth checking out in my opinion, my favorite from the line. Next up we have moving into the proper list here, a couple of cheapies. This first one is going to be hyper refreshing. You can find this out at the rack stores usually for under $20. And it was perfumed by Francis Kirkjohn. This is Green Tea by Elizabeth Arden. Really nice, not so minty forward, but it does add a cooling effect. This is one of the most refreshing and cooling high heat, high humidity appropriate fragrances in my collection. Definitely something that is poor on performance because of all of those nice qualities, but something that you could reapply and refresh with quite easily. Slim bottle you could fit into your pocket, put it in your car. Lasts about two to three hours, but it's a very nice little pick-me-up from that. The green facets from the mint and the other herbaceous qualities in here also play along with the citruses to really give you that nice relief from the heat. And if you wanted to get a little bit better longevity for the same scent profile from the same perfumer, Francis Kirkjohn, you could upgrade to this sort of niche version of green tea. This was Aquamedia Cologne Forte from Francis Kirkjohn, where he basically just took the same DNA that he constructed and made it a little bit better quality, put it in one of his own from his line and reissued it. So both of those fragrances are great. This one does have a little bit better of a scent profile and longevity and quality of ingredients overall, but I think this is a perfectly fine fragrance and one of the best cheapies for the summertime in my opinion, both exhibiting that nice minty quality. The next one, another cheapie, this is Carvin Low Intense. I believe it's discontinued, but it's been floating around for under $30 for the 100ml, just about, uh, or under $40. I think it's great for that price. This has a really awesome sparkly citric quality in here that's hyper refreshing, but the mint also carries it in a very cooling effect. This reminds me a little bit of a, like a Prada Loam. It does have this very nice office quality to it, very reserved to put together clean, hyper clean and powdery. This can get a little bit toothpastey in its minty facets, however, so buyer beware in that regard. But otherwise, another really hyper refreshing mint fragrance, a little bit of lavender in there as well. And speaking on lavender, mint, and citrus, this one goes in a similar direction to another popular fragrance scent profile. This is um, I'm going to show you the cheapy here version. This is Mahir Legacy. I think Fragrance X has been having this for under $20, but otherwise really readily available under $30. And like I said, mint, citrus, and 
Lavender are the main components here. Uh, quite different in scent profile, these two, even though they're, they have a lot of similar accords going on. And this has a little bit of an added spicy quality to it from the fragrance which it's cloning, which is this right here, Parfum de Marley Sedley. I think this scent profile overall is great. Um, one of the few original sort of DNAs that this house, Parfum de Marley, has put out. I don't think that this was cloning anything that I can tell. Um, but this is comes close enough that I would recommend if, as far as a um, wise investment of your finances, this is going to be the way to go so, because they are so similar. I do appreciate this fragrance, however. I think the lavender is a little bit better done in here than it is in here. But I wouldn't waste your money on the Parfum de Marley when this is out there. Um, unless you know you sample both of them and deem that a little bit of higher quality lavender really worth that extra 200 or so dollars um, but really great mint fragrances both of those and then finally one more cheapy for the list here before moving into the designer and niche this is Bentley for men Silver Lake and this is kind of an aqua de jo DNA you get that nice mineralic sort of watery clean oceanic scent profile that the Aqua de Jo has really transformed the fragrance genre with and then this adds a little bit of a sparkliness I think maybe from some ginger going on in here if I'm not mistaken I know there's a violet leaf as well that adds this increased watery uh, ozonic almost cucumber watery aspect to this fragrance and then the mint really freshens it up and makes it a little bit more of a light and airy take on that Aqua de Gio DNA and one of the best cheapies for the summertime overall in my opinion so that is the first end of this fragrance list focusing on the note of mint um, this next one coming up here it does not actually have a mint note in here but it does have an aroma chemical called Cycool, which cool is a cooling effect that at least that's how I think it was named I don't know for sure I'm just assuming there but it definitely has a minty cool refreshing green quality this is H24 Herb Vives from Hermes and this has like I said this very minty cool green facet to the fragrance. There's also a pear note in here that adds a fruity quality and then an otherwise sort of laundry-esque cleanly clean quality going on in here. This line has been known for its sort of dr laundry dryer sheet cleanly quality. The previous iterations of this one had a little bit more of a hot iron nuance going on uh, the EDP on uh, oak moss this one came to the foreground with that pear and minty nuance however which makes this one better for the summertime in my opinion while the other two are great for the spring this is my personal favorite however and that minty cool refreshing quality is one of the reasons why I love reaching for this one in the summertime and then finally the next fragrance on the list here this is going to be another designer and one that I would definitely recommend getting your nose on it's a little bit old school uh, not in its scent profile but it's been out for a long time it does have a really classy classical construction to it and it makes sense coming from the house this is Gearland Ohm Eau de Parfum from Gearland this is like a kind of like a mint mojito, a little bit of a soapy nuance underneath of that. Great for the office, very clean, inoffensive, and refreshing, cooling quality. The fragrance comes in a different bottle type now, but as far as I can tell, the scent profile has remained intact. And you can generally find these for well under $100 also. About medium performance though. A nice clean soapy vetiver with that minty nuance and a little bit of a boozy facet, like I said, a mint mojito quality. Um, great price to value proposition though, as most of your lines are. Definitely one of my favorites for just carrying me through all the way from the spring through the summertime. I think if you were going to pick a signature for the warm weather, this would be a great one. It works for the office, high heat, um, spring spring weather also this is just a really great fragrance overall Gearland Homme Eau de Parfum okay next we have Etat Libre de Orange you or someone like you this is very refreshing it kind of reminds me of if you were to sort of make a homemade I don't know like sunburn 
remedy like you took uh, an ice cube tray and you freezed a bunch of ice cubes with aloe vera juice and dried mint and then took those like ice cubes and just let them melt on your like sunburn or something of that nature so you get that nice ice cube type feeling with a the, the green facets of like an aloe vera and a dried mint coming together so it would just make a very nice aura around you it's not very loud or beast mode but it just creates this very nice bubble that is just enveloping in a cool refreshing and icy tone and nuance and it's also very herbaceous like I said very much of like a dry mint going on in here that gives you this very how do I want to say um, polished feeling and it's almost powdery and it's dry dusty nuance I want to say maybe is like a good way to put it really great stuff though it's pretty inoffensive and high quality and you can usually find these for well under a hundred dollars I got this tester for 64 I believe came with a cap and really one of the better mint fragrances in my collection to date okay so we've gone through one two three four five okay so I think we have three more I'll see how much how many fragrances were mentioned in the final cut, but the next one here is Saint Julep from Imaginary Authors. This also goes in a little bit of a mint mojito direction, similar to the Guerlain Ohm, but this is sweetened up with a little bit of a Baccarat Rouge 540 sort of candy floss beneath the minty mojito quality, so you do get that mint, and then there's a crushed ice sort of a cord in here to give it an icy nuance on top of everything and then there is um, a handful of other sweeteners going on like uh, they list sugar cubes as a, a cord in here as well very much like I said just like a, a summertime Baccarat Rouge 540 with an added mint note really beautiful execution on this another one that I love to wear all the way from the spring through the summertime and hyper refreshing and fun at the same time very much a unisex fragrance probably the most unisex out of all of the fragrances mentioned on this list right alongside of Elizabeth Arden's green tea which is marketed as a women's fragrance but uh, works great for men but this one is a nice little hidden gem if you're not familiar with the house of imaginary authors they do have really well executed sample sets that are worth checking out and this is one that I would put at the top of the list to get your nose on from them okay finally we have two more this one is another one that I think is great for the springtime it made my top 10 March list it has a very earthy herbaceous take on the mint note almost woody in its presentation to how um, dense the mint is done in here this is beach hut man from Amwaj, and like i said it, it kind of reminds me of like a little bit of a tree bark in its textural feel and then there's a, this very earthy appeal to the mint quality there's a little bit of a powdery nuance almost like a uh, a tree bark like the gum that you would get out of tree like scraping off of the inside of the bark like the the tree bark that has like a gummy nuance to it that you would be making into like rubber or something and there's a nice texture there that's very chewy in some sense very regal in terms of all the fragrances listed in this video today this one has the most sort of refinement to it I want to say definitely a classier take on the mint note one of my favorites for a more formal type occasion I could see this being one that I would reach for for a summer wedding just has a very nice well put together aura about it and one that I think is definitely worth the little bit of a premium to pick up a niche fragrance in terms of just how unique it is and how well constructed it is and out of all the amwashes that I have in my collection this one is one of the more mass appealing just because this house has um, a very artistic take on um, fragrances that really I feel as if only the people in the fragrance community get behind often as far as just the hyper spicy sort of incense -y 
little bit of a Middle Eastern tone that Homage has. This one does a good job with the general public in my opinion. And then finally ending off this list with my scent of the day for yesterday. This is Torino 21 from Zerzhov. Again, um, this almost smells a little bit like this Ita de Libra de Oranges, You or Someone Like You. It does have that nice dry minty quality. A little bit less of a, like an ice cube and more of an outdoorsy feeling like the mint has been growing directly in your garden and it got hit by a little bit of uh, a extra sun and it's dried up slightly. And it's giving off just like the very, very pleasant vapors of their, its aroma. And this one is by far the most long lasting beast mode well projecting out of everything mentioned in this list today. Beach Up Man coming close but this overall is just like very sharp and very slightly toothpastey in its um, presentation. It's sweetened up a little bit underneath and very well executed might not be for everybody i know that this is a very hyped up fragrance for the summertime but i do think this is very much worth sampling i don't think it's going to be everyone's cup of tea because I, it does get a little bit toothpastey and i can see many people not wanting to smell quite like this same thing with the carbon low intense i think both of these are worth sampling first this one's a cheapie so you could probably blind buy it and not be too far out of the loop as far as um, being let down by it but this is definitely something I would sample it's hard to find th these 100 mls for anything less than 250 and generally like the 50 mls are going for 200 as well so sample 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 but this I think is one of the best well executed mint fragrances at least in my collection and those are 10 and a few honorable mention fragrances with the mint note that I think are great for cooling off in this high heat environment that we find ourselves in here in summer 2024. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's any other mint fragrances you think I should check out, what your scent of the day is today. And as always, I appreciate you sticking me to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.